Hi guys! The university application process was the bane of my existence and it stressed me out to the max. I was just not informed. I didn't know anything. So this is what I'm here presenting to you all the information you need to apply for uni. I basically winged the whole process. So don't do that. I don't recommend that. What I'm going to do is talk firstly about the actual process and my experience and then I'll talk about like recommendations and what not to do and advice and all of that stuff so yeah let's get started so what might be obvious is that everything is done online i didn't know this that's why i'm saying it so ucas student finance everything is done online i was writing my personal statement out on paper <laughs> man had to type it up <laughs> all your previous educational history all goes up online and you put all your personal information everything all on your ucas form in that ucas form at the end you put your personal statement which is a big bulk of it if you want a separate personal statement video please do let me know i didn't want to put it in this one and go in depth in this one otherwise it'll be like five hours long but if you do want a separate one just let me know and i'll make one the same personal statement goes to all five universities uh, if you want to do a different course in each university you're going to have to put that all into one's personal statement so i don't recommend you do that your predicted grades go up on there your teacher's reference goes up you don't get to actually see your teacher's reference they write it you send off your ucas application to your teachers and then they send it off to the universities after you've sent off your application you get this thing called track um ucas track tracking service that's when you check up on your offers to see if you've got offers. You get an email saying, check your track, it's been updated. You choose five universities to apply to. You can only choose five. If you're applying for medicine, you can only apply for four universities to apply for medicine and one other university for something else, I believe. I didn't apply for medicine, I don't know. I applied for the University of Oxford, University of Liverpool, University of Kent, University of Hertfordshire and Anglo Ruskin University. When you choose your five universities, you have to choose like an aspirational one, one that you think, oh, it's going to be hard to get into, but I want to get and try to get into that one. For me, that was Oxford and Liverpool and Kent. <laughs> you have to choose an insurance one, like a backup one that has quite low entry requirements. For me, that was Anglia Ruskin and Hertfordshire. So those were my five choices. That was such a struggle choosing my universities. Oh my God. Like I just didn't know anything. I was like, I didn't even know I had, I only had five options. I was like, five? I planned to bloody apply for like 50. So when your teachers check your application, they send it off to the unis and then you get back offers. You're not guaranteed an offer. They can decline your offer if that wasn't obvious already, but yes, they can. Some people believe that you get offers. They can't turn you down yes they bloody can <laughs> you can get either a conditional offer or an unconditional offer or get declined conditional is when you have entry requirements to meet up to so it's either ucas points or grades and an unconditional offer is when you literally don't have to worry about grades they've accepted you you just have to make them your firm of insurance which i'll talk about later and then you can go to the uni so with me university of oxford turned me down and i knew it was a long shot so i wasn't really that upset i just wanted to know in my heart that i tried everything i could to go to the university of oxford and i won't ever have to think oh my god like what if i had applied and got in do you know what i mean so yes um i also applied for a foundation year in the university of oxford and got declined at that as well just know it's very competitive and don't be too you know optimistic let me just tell you that but i'm not smart so smart people yeah apply university of liverpool i've got a conditional offer got conditional offer from kent conditional offer from hertfordshire and i've got an unconditional offer from anglia ruskin i was very extremely happy with my offers like i basically got all that i expected i was gonna get and plus the unconditional offer which was a huge weight list lifted off my shoulders like i, I could do terribly in my my exams and still get into uni so i was like yep yeah, i'm all for that for the entry requirements for me oxford was aaa liverpool was a b b kent was a a b and hertfordshire was 130 ucas points i don't know 120 something ucas points and i think same for anglia ruskin i'm not even sure i can't even remember to be fair then you choose your firm and insurance choice your firm choice has to be the one that you want to go to that just like yes i can get those grades and yes i'm gonna get into that one and i want to go to that one your insurance choice is your backup plan if all goes terribly wrong you need a backup plan 
So for me, my firm was University of Liverpool. Then I used Anglo Ruskin Unconditional Offer as my insurance. So I knew that I would get into university regardless of the outcome of my exams. I was in a pretty amazing situation. Life was going good. Obviously exams came around and <laughs> I was a bit shitting myself all through summer as to whether I would even get into my firm choice. I didn't think I would, but. So now moving on to advice, what I recommend. When filling out your UCAS form, please ensure that you triple check that shit. Check it about 50 times before you send it off to your teacher. Because if there are errors and your teacher picks up on it and he sends it back to you, it just elongates the process and it's just gonna become even more stressful and life is just gonna be shit for you, yeah? Your personal statement, get 100 people to read that shit and i'm so sure all of those 100 people would have something to say about your personal statement when applying for your university i'm gonna be a bit brutally honest don't apply for all russell group universities because you need an insurance you need to know that you're gonna be safe at one point just make sure you choose wisely and be realistic with yourself think am i actually gonna go get those grades because getting an offer is one thing but actually getting in with the grades is another thing and you need to make sure that you can get those grades if you want to go there another piece of advice if you want to apply for oxford and cambridge just do it just bloody do it just try because at the end of the day you're gonna have to choose two anyway out of your five if you don't get through with oxford or cambridge you still have four other options so if you want to apply for it i i completely recommend it's such a sense of accomplishment when you do you feel like yes i feel like i can and i, and I will obviously things didn't go well for me but you know it can go well for you i'm sorry if the angles have changed my battery died and i had to um plug it in so yes let me carry on on the morning of results day at eight o'clock you can go into your tracking service and you can check if you've gone to uni or if you've been declined or not got in or whatever else. And I'm telling you from experience that universities are very lenient on results day. So obviously don't get a bit too optimistic with that. I just suggest if you can get your results before you like eight o'clock in the morning, I don't suggest you do. I suggest you go on UCAS, see your um, outcome first and then go get your results. Because if you see your results and they're not what you need, you might have still gone to the university of your choice. With me, I was so lucky enough to still get into the University of Liverpool, even though I did not get the grades. I got um, BBC and they wanted ABB. And I was so, so lucky to have still got in. They changed my offer. I applied for just law and they changed it to law and sociology. And I was like, I ain't doing sociology for another three years of my life. You must be having a chuckle. Nope, but it's because I did well. Um, I got a B in sociology and they must have thought that, okay, she's all right, let me change it to that. And then I emailed them. I was like, please, can I change it to law and politics? And they changed it and I got to go. And I'm so lucky. I feel so blessed to have got into my, firm choice of university a russell group university with the grades i did get there's a lot of universities that do lower the entry requirements on results day because there's a lot of people that obviously will be gutted if they don't get in clearing is also a thing clearing is such a long process and i really can't explain it because i don't understand it very well myself but yeah that's also an option if you haven't got into any of your either firm or insurance so don't be bummed out there are other options i do like recommend just keep hope like ha, i thought i was finished i thought i was finished i'm not gonna get into uni that's i literally thought like how am i even gonna get into university of liverpool like it's such a long shot and i got in and i'm so blessed that i did so i'm now a student of the university of liverpool oh i'm buzzing and i'm moving on the 16th of september and i am absolutely buzzing like I'm so excited to move. I'm so excited to spend the next few years of my life there. I thought I would just input this because I just remembered. Grades aren't everything. Do as much as you possibly can and put it on your personal statement because grades aren't everything. Because me getting into Liverpool purely shows that because I got shit grades i didn't meet up to the entry requirements and they still let me in that's because i have so much work experience i have so much to show that i want to do a degree and i want to do law so keep that in mind okay back to my normal video that is mainly all i have to say about the university application that's literally all i know like if I have any additional things that I think of while I'm editing this, I'll just put it in the description. So do go check that out if you want to know more. If there is more, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope it informed you with something or helped you with anything, like if you had any doubts. And yeah, 
have a nice day guys